What is up guys, Son of Beast here. We are back with another NBA 2K21 as I have recorded on my iPad. Hopefully it will take a too much, not too much storage at this time. And today's game we have is the amazing, what we are calling for the next part, as we are seeing the LA Clippers facing on, yep, there's the Clippers, facing on against the Boston Celtics. And they are back home in Boston after season two, after they beat against the Cleveland Cavaliers for two for season two. But right now, I'm bringing them back home for, for season five, as I will be seeing the newer parts of, as we see, which, which player could do better. In today's starting lineups, we have is Patrick Beverly, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Nichols Batum, and Serge Ibaka that was been traded from the after the after 2019 to 20 season with the Toronto Raptors. And, and of course, Nick, Nicolas Batum for the 2020 season with the Char Charlotte Hornets to the Clippers. And right now, on the Boston lineup for the Celtics, we have is Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Tristan Thompson, traded from the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, and Daniel Feist. Unfortunately for Kemba Walker, he's out of the game, and he will not be playing if he's if, he, if he's recovered up by by the game. If he is back in the game for another action, so we have to find out if Kemba Walker can play can play back in as long as always. So this is another way that we are seeing the KD. That's right. Episode 18 is out. You want to watch right now? Go ahead. You can do for. You could do it anyway. And also, Happy New Year, everyone. This is, um, it has been a fantastic year as, um, as I ever expected. It's finally coming down to 2020 to 21. I am super excited to see, to start out with the new year because this year was not the best. I thought it would have been the best time of the year, but it did not happen that much. Of course, we have Jeff T, O'Jaley, and Williams, then Perkchard, Williams, Green, Edwards, and Ness, Ness Smith. I forgot. I, I don't know what the person is. I, I can't remember what anything right now. And that's the one that I got for uh, for the Boston Celtics, the Tatum jersey. And now let's meet your Boston Celtics. All right, we're gonna do it again. Let's see what happens. Six Number 27, Daniel Feist. Six point eight. Number 13, Tristan Thompson. Six point three inches. Number 46, Marcus Smart. Inches. Number seven, Jalen Brown. In six point eight. Number zero, Jason Tatum. And your head coach for the Boston Celtics will coach Brad Stevens. That's right, Boston Celtics just finally destroyed the Pacers with the score. They made a rematch with that call, and they did it again. And they are placing against the Clippers for the game. Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and Kevin Harlan are on the commentators with David Eldridge. Now here's David Eldridge on the sideline. What do you have here? Kevin, thanks very much. This is the era of positionless basketball in the NBA. Celtics coach Brad Stevens said, I don't have the five positions anymore. It's as simple as three, either a ball handler, a wing, or a big. We've become more versatile as the years have gone on. And guys, teams are now looking for players who provide that kind of versatility. Back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Now we are ready to step up with the game, and we are seeing who's going to win 
for the uh, for the for the end of the 2020 season to 21 for the start of new season of the new year. And here are the key matchups: Kawhi Leonard and Jason Tatum on small forward position, and that's what we are just looking for right in those two. Kawhi Leonard, the claw against the Tatum. The process, I forgot what it's going to call. Here he is, tip off. The Clippers wins the tip off, and we are underway in the TD Garden Arena. Here's Patrick Beverly. It's blocked. That was by Smarkus Smart, Smart, Smart that made a block. Here's Daniel Fies. Oh, with a slam dunk with the first gem on the board. That will be its first two pointer for, the, for Daniel Fies. Commandeers, once again. Now here's Patrick Beverly. He passed up to Leonard after the win in 2019 season for the finals. And Kawhi Leonard takes a dunk around the opposite opposite direction. He's always ready to go for it. Here's Marcus Smart moving around the ball. Pass over to Brown, moving it over to Tatum. Goes over a letter. The ball's loose, and Ibaka recovers it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we know about Serge Ibaka right now. After after he played with a great team for the Celtics, he lost against the, I mean the Raptors. He he played great for the Raptors, but now it's time for him to make a switch. I'm hoping the Raptors will do better to keep it up from here if we don't have Serge Ibaka. So let's see if the Raptors can take another clinching win without Serge Ibaka. Jason Tatum going in the other direction with a dunk. Of course, right now we've only got two dunks so far after Daniel Feist makes the first pointer. And Jason Tatum with the first pointer. 5.20 left to go. 4-2 to two is your score. Kawhi Leonard for over, over Tatum, and it's good. They are still tied up by 4-4. Here comes Smart, moving around the other way. Here's passes over to Jalen Brown. Paul George, we know about him because uh, right now he, I thought he was going to go with the Clippers, but now John Wall has it covered out. And and with all of a sudden right now, I thought that Paul George could help out with uh, Russell Westbrook, but his, but this isn't working really well because. Russell Westbrook is is now playing with the Washington Wizards over John Wall. Four for to go as the Clippers are in the lead. Jason Tatum for three. Good! And an outside range shot. First three pointer for Jason Tatum. Five points. Kawhi Leonard in the other direction. Pass to Ibaka. He goes back to Kawhi Leonard, and the layup is good, and they are playing back to one-to-one. -to -one. Back to back, one-on-one. -on -one. Last night, they put a win against the Minnesota Timberwolves with an unbelievable score. They never did it that one before. Under four minutes, here we have is Jalen Brown. Brown, past the smart, bounce pass to Pice. Goes up to Thompson. Goes over Beverly. A second chance opportunity, and it's taken over by Ibaka. Kawhi Leonard on the corner. Moves it to the wing. Screen on Ibaka. Kawhi Leonard, another shot's good. Kawhi Leonard's got 10 points. Seven points for the Celtics, as Tatum just picks it up out of control. He goes to Tatum, rolls over to Brown. Brown with it. Coming off a solid outing against Indiana. Smart coming around. Shoots up. It's good. Marcus Smart's got his first point in the bucket. And timeout first call will be the LA Clippers with just 301 left. Not just a quite close call anyway, but uh, but we're also nerd saying that where's the head coach for Doc Rivers? Well, Brett Brown just got fired from the uh, from the uh, 76ers, and now Doc Rivers is back. Of course, uh, he's played. He's with the uh, he's the head coach for uh, for the uh, 76ers as Brett Brown 
I think he might be switching to uh, to the LA Clippers this time because that's where he might be standing out just in front of him. We're not sure if he's there, but if you but keep an eye on him because he might be there. Nope, you don't see it. Nope, I don't see it anyway. I don't know who's the head coach for this time, but I don't know if Brett Brown's in there. Let's try to let's try to go patient on offense. Let's keep it on. Let's try to get the pick and rolls. We need to go for a through, and that's it. We have a whole new group changing here for the Celtics and Clippers. Patterson is on a group, on a, on a court. Williams, Kennard, and Zubox are on the court. But Kawhi Leonard keeps himself on the court to give it another shot. All five players are stopped out. All five players are checked in. Jeff T, Williams, and then, then of course uh, we have is uh, Ojale. Williams moves it around the board. Oh, but he had a fake, but she got that right. Jeff T. No good. No good. So, I don't know about Jeff T. I thought he was retired already. Well, I'm telling you right now, he did not quit basketball here. He is not retired yet. After he played with the Minnesota Timberwolves in the 2019 season, I have no idea when he played by last season. So, I have nothing to say about him. Maybe he was out that time because he was injured. Probably that's why that happened today. You know, I'm not sure if this is the right call, but this is going to be very tough tense for uh, for without Kemba Walker. Blocking foul going on Ujale. Here's a look at the block. As we mentioned earlier, that was uh, Serge Ibaka with a, with a block. And we know that only one knows a handle. And after the last season, he just had it all with the Raptors. And yet, you know we got a franchise player. He's back again. Just like 151 to go. All players are set. Here's Kennard, pass to Jackson, and that is good with the layup. Very nice speed, and assist by Kennard. First assist at this point. Here's Pritchard. Jeff Teague for three. And his first three-pointer goes up to Jeff Teague. First pointer for tonight. Williams looking around. Might be calling for his contract if he's going to play with the other team here. That's good for Zubats, assist by Lou Williams. Score is turning out in and out at that point. Jeff T go rolling around again. Pass over to Pritchard. Moving around to Williams. Screen on Williams. There's two right now. How could that be? Once again, no foul called on the Clippers for the shooting or the Celtics shooting foul. And it's a Williams with a drive, and he dunks it in. 18 to 12 is your score. Moves around to Williams. Spin move. And we got a first foul called on the Clippers. It was Zubox with his first personal foul. Almost playing out the Kyrie Irving moves right there. Roll in and out, under and over. Look at that. Almost close enough to get there first. And now the first two pointer will be, first two shots will be Jared Williams. We got so many Williams at this point. Lou Williams, Gerald Williams. I forgot who the other one is. First free throw is good. First free throw is good. I'm gonna figure out what his last name is. Um, for number 12 because uh, we have so many Williams at this point so I'll research it when we come back after the first quarter ends first two free first two free first three two pointers is good for Williams just 30 seconds right now 18 to 14 is your score 
Now, here's Kennard. Here's Kennard. He picked up picking out the, uh, picking out the rules here. Patterson for three. It's good. Uh, and we got the first pointer. Assist by Kennard. Two assists at this moment. Moving around. Williams picking it up. No, not that good. Patterson just took it out. Almost turned out to be a goaltending. Jackson moving up and it's blocked by Roy Williams. And he's outstanding right now. We got a first block for the game, and we got new changes. Pichard is subbed out. Brown is checked in. 5.9 seconds to go. Looking for a turnout to be a buzz beater. Williams going with the drive. Blocked it. And that is the end of the first quarter. Wow, two blocks going on. Williams and Brown. Just a nice score, but not close enough to get there. We'll have to find out for the second quarter when we come back. 21 to 14, we'll be right back. Here's Marcus Smart of how he played great and the shooting of this game. I'm the youngest of four boys. So, as anybody who has siblings older, younger, you understand the struggle, especially being the youngest. You know, you always got to fight for what you want. And I did research on here, it's Grant Williams and Robert Williams. In fact, Grant has finally made his first draft, he's a start, and this is his first time to play in the NBA game. Oh, Jalen Brown did it again! Oh, but he couldn't make that shot. Wow, we got another ankle breaking in for season five. After James Harden, we got Jalen Brown. Damn! I can't believe how he's gonna do that anyway. Jeff T with the rebound after Lou Williams misses out. Robert Williams to Ujale. Second quarter ready to go. Here's Grant Williams. Green on Robert, but it's, like, but it's two got him away. Oh wait, Ujale. Up in the layup, and it's good. Jeff Teague's got another point, and that's five points. No finishers at this point. Trying to go for the buzz beater in the fourth quarter for this season, but only the playoffs has been turning out. Two blocks. We got three. Ujale with the block. Brown with the drive. And that's good. First two-pointer for Jalen Brown is on the board, and the Celtics are coming back in. Timeout, L.A.C. With just 5.42 left. Let's go to David Aldridge and see what he has. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, they can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, D.A. There's Law's strong story after Jalen Brown making a draft, and they're doing it really hard to keep it right in there, just in time. I'm sure they're going to do it anyway. Not too much happening, but it turns out to be just quite popular than, uh, than everything else. And new group are changing in. Jason Tatum is back to the court by Robert Williams. Robert Williams. And, 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 uh, and, and Grant Williams. Here's Jackson coming in. And the foul going on Jason Tatum, his first personal foul. After Jackson delivers a dunk and its shot is good. Only one shot remaining for Jackson. The Clippers shooting their first free throw attempt. Another free, we got our first free throw for the Clippers. 5.36 to go. I can't hear you, Celtics. Louder. Louder. First throw is good for Brady Jackson. And that'll be first, first pointer and three points. One free throw for three points. Jalen Brown going for it again. But passes to Smart. Bounce pass to Green. Feist with the screen. Brown up and again. And shot's good! Before the shot clock turns to a violation by the buzzer, 
And uh, just like that, Jason Tatum would definitely really beat the uh, shot clock at this point from, by the buzzer. Just under five minutes to go. Jackson against Vice. Surge with the screen. And it's taken away by Brown. Two on one. He turns up to a reverse layup for Smart. Assist by Brown. 4.46 to go as, as Clippers lead by two. Celtics trail by two as well. Here's Ibaka going from the paint. And he uses the glass to uh, descend in the net. Making some changes here. I need some motion. Passes over to Green. Need some screen over here. Fights with the screen. Oh, he had no idea where to go, but he found the but he found the basket. That's Green for another two points. First basket for tonight. Thanks to a screen for Feist for helping out. I forgot which button I was going to press. Beverly passing over to George. Wished to go for a three, but did not handle the pressure. Now he passes to Ibaka, and it's good for Ibaka, assist by George. Timeout called by Boston Celtics in their first timeout in the second quarter. 3.29 to go. Let's go ahead and uh, pick another. So the Let's go ahead and pick another first. game plan for the uh, for the pass another on offense. I'll do this one. Or actually, I will do this one. The flow right down there. Kawhi Leonard checked in. Checked in. All right, a chance here to check out and let's check out the stats for Paul George after last season. He made it great 21 points at this point after our last game for making it big, big outstanding for the win on each of our teams. But sometimes they put up with a loss and they never had a chance to go back and forward again if we're seeing, if we're seeing a hard time to call. Right now, Paul George is turning out to go for another chance to beat over 21 points. Now he dishes to Leonard. Back to George. George going for three. They grabbed, they grabbed it. Oh, and Serge Ibaka did it again with the rebound. Under three minutes to go. 30 to 24 is your score. Richard. Oh! Contact foul going on, Patrick Beverly. That was a little bit weird. What do I need to know? Number 11? Oh my gosh. Yep. No Irving on here. Let's see the, let's see what uh, Pritchard has for two first free throws on the line. No points at this point yet. He's going to try to do it the free throw. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless. Like you would never. There we go. We got a first free throw. I One. Turn it down publicly. <laughs> they stopped the clock at two minutes and fifty seconds. One shot left for Pritchard. Kind of anxious already. I don't know what happened. And two free throws is good for Pritchard. First two point of the night. Los Angeles lead by four. Los Angeles lead by four. Oh man, we got a quick pass from Patrick Beverly to Serge Abata. Eight points on the board. No miss at this moment. Pritchard going around again. Here's Pritchard. some quick. Make it quick. Pass to Tice. Tice moving it back. Six on the shot clock. They got to move around right now. Richard passes to Tatum. Tatum going in, and the layup is good. Tatum has got another points, seven points to the game. Two ten to go. Patrick Beverly uses the spin move to, to go around smart. And it's Thompson with the rebound. You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. 
Pass to Pritchard. Pass to Pritchard. Kicks it to Smart. Kicks it over to Smart. And, and two blocks for Smart. I mean, Abaka turns out to be another elimination at this moment. Leonard turns out to go for a drive, and he did it again. The finishing transition, nice and easy. No spin move yet for Smart. Smart. Richard moves over to Tatum. Tatum on the wing. Oh, almost rolls it over to Kawhi Leonard. And up it goes as Tatum picks up another point. Well, this guy is used to scoring in tight they, situations. They are, down, they are trailing by four, and timeout's going to call. We got a timeout call by the Clippers. Jason Tatum picking out again. Almost done with the first half. And then after halftime, we will get started with the second half. So, yep, it's almost coming down to the wire. So I'm going to be subbing out Pritchard and bring uh, Jeff Teeth Jeff back in. Five's not just enough to get there, but I'm going to go ahead and sub him out. And it looks like I'm not, I'm not that smart to pick up a right timing for Tristan Thompson and Green to, to check in. Changes New changes so here. Green's checked in for Daniel Tice. New changes for Clippers and the and the Celtics. And it's Tegan for Marcus Smart. For Sundown, Kennard, Madison, and Zubox, and Williams are checked in. Here comes Lou Williams in the paint. Second chance opportunity. And it's missed as Thompson rebounds the ball just under one minute to go. Ujale again looking out of their way. Hostess and Thompson. Who's in the paint? Thompson picks up another two. And he's on the board right now. First two buckets for a night. 40 seconds to go. 34 to 32. Celtics trail by two. Zubox going out the other direction. He has no idea, but gets in the pass. Williams outside. Moves it in. The floater is good. Williams has got his third basket. Third basket for the night for, for Lou Williams. You know he wants to help his team, but not sure if shooting is the way to do it. Passes to Pritchard. Pritchard for three. And that comes to a first basket for three. Pritchard. They are down by one. Oh my gosh. Well, if he misses it, then we're going to have a close game by each two. Leonard and on the other hand, and that's the end of the first half. Close game, 36 to 35. Wow. Celtics are trying to give it up, but they wanted to do it anyway. Here's David on the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Why a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better defense second half. Uh, because we don't know if we're going to keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see you can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be right back with the second half. Don't go anywhere. At this game, we'll be more intense. Hey, folks, welcome back to the TD Garden Arena as in the Celtics Arena as the third quarter is about to be underway as Kawhi Leonard, the claw, delivers out a punching, unbelievable score. And just take a look. 12 points, 9 minutes on the court, only only 6 shots made without the handle to leave it out on the court. So we are ready for the third quarter. A couple new changes at this moment going back to starter. Here comes Smart. Wow. A starting for the third quarter turns out to be Patrick Beverly, his second personal foul. Smart is smart to say that quote if there is any defender right on right on on defense, one person has to try to commence a better defensive. Try not to like uh, smack on anything or push or shove or anything. Just concentrate your defense and you get better. Smart taking two shots to put up for the lead. Ties it up. And Ties it up. And the next one will be for will be the lead. 
over the Clippers. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? Let's see if this turns out to be the uh, turn out to be the overchange. An incredible leader by example. This guy spent. There you go. Marcus Smart puts it up. The lead over the Clippers, 47 to 36. Now here's Beverly. Only two fouls remain. He's going to do it again. Ibaka misses, and the streak is over. So they lead by one. Here's uh, Fice. Let's see if he can figure it out to go for another block. Whoa, almost put a crossover on, on, on George. Brown for three. Good! From the corner, assist by... I forgot who the other one is. Smart? Fice? I don't know. Another three-pointer at this time for the Celtics. Another one. Patrick Beverly did it again, another two-pointer. No foul trouble yet for, for each team. There aren't any bonuses up yet. Smart pass to Brown. Come on, some floppy steps. Come on. Tatum for three or two. Thompson going again, a nice one. Nice rebound for uh, for Tristan Thompson to help out Tatum. Four points for the Celtic. Four points for Thompson. George going over to look around for the player. Or go for a shot. Leonard in the corner. George picks up a two. Thompson picking another rebound, another miss by the Clippers. Brown, no problem at all. A, a, a downtown score for Brown. Assist by Tatum. Just about five minutes to go. George did not put it back. No revenge here. Tatum going around the back. 4.50 left to go in the uh, third quarter. Here's DA. Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now, they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better. Keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. You guys are hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see, we will see what happens at this point. After the first foul is calling on Batum, two shots. For Thompson. First personal foul for Baton by the Clippers. And the first, one first one draws it in. Thompson has just made one. New changes. Beverly is out. Jackson checks in. And Robert Williams. With a change here too. Jackson, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And and Grant Williams is checked in for Feiss. As Thompson goes to the center. Two shots made it in for Thompson. Just about 4.40 left to go. Here's Jackson. Turned it out to be just quite authentic with the rebound. Leonard with the fadeaway shot, and he had it all again. Both ends on the floor. After Kawhi's team made a win over the Wizards, they made a destruct. They destructed. The they just struck the, uh, the score as Kawhi Leonard does it again. Destroys the court over the Wizards by John Wall. This turns out to be very, very authentic. Batum, this guy's first rebound. He has, no, he has no points yet on the board. Under four minutes to go. Jackson going over Brown. Trying to go for an ankle break and to put up somebody's revenge here. Go over Smart, and that's another pointer for Kawhi Leonard. 16 points for Leonard and Brown for 10 points. Smart, another drive, and we got a contacting foul for the Clippers as Jackson puts a, puts a smack 
on smart. First personal foul. Yep, there's number one. Now you know about it. It looks like a first personal foul to me. Reggie Jackson is has got has gotten a, um, he has gotten called by the foul. As Smart picks will take two shots from the free throw. Of course that is. That is right, Doris. Dorisburg, I, I just know that Grant Williams, Marcus Smart, really wants him to be, to be with the Celtics. We have new changes for the Clippers and the Celtics as three are subbed out. Three are checked in. And, and new changes at this point. Brown, Smart, Teague, and, and Robert Williams are checked in. And Smart switches over. And so smart nails both of them. Switches to the uh, our guarding position. Quick pass. Oh man! Paul George with a with a first dunk one time one time pass assist by Zubox. I don't know if that's it, but maybe that might be Lou 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 Williams at this point. Robert Williams going back out again. A drive. Another foul going on the Clippers, and that'll be the second personal foul on Zubox. Oh man, we got a trouble contacting foul for the Clippers, and they're gonna try to like they're gonna try to uh, watch the foul they're gonna put up here. Just three oh nine left. Didn't work out that much. First one falls in. New changes at this point. You got Leonard checked out. And right now, back in is Patterson. Also, Ojule has come, comes in for, for Marcus Smart as Brown moves over to the shooting guard. The second free throw is off. Only one turned out to be just a clean shot. Lou Williams moving around. And it's Teague with the rebound. Five rebounds for Teague. Under three minutes, 50 to 44 is your score. Here's Teague right in the other direction. Brown moving around. Paul George, George takes the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Lou Williams going for going for 201. George for the free. And it's rebounded by Patterson. And a foul is going to go on Grant Williams, his first. Now we got a trouble here for the Celtics. A rookie, a rookie player, Grant Williams, just got just got collapsed. Got broken down without even going going with a block. Two free throws is coming up for Patterson. Just stop the clock at 2:31 to go. Shoot two. New changes will be will be will be checking in after this first. The first free throw is no good. Major Here's Pritchard checking in for Brown. This guy. Duke, Florida, you name it. But the Kentucky Wildcats win again. Only one more to go for Patterson. Took him clean. The second free throw is good. 50 to 45 is your score. Jeff T only had five points, but nothing else has been changing yet. Williams against T. Jeff T passed to Pritchard. Step back. Over Kennard is no good. Tight, tight defense on the slot. And Kennard brought it back in. That's the kind of, That's the kind of what we are looking for, Jim Teague on the other hand. Two minutes to be played in the third quarter. Teague to Ojale. Moves over to Williams. 
Robert Williams. Shoots over Zubox. Rebound by Pritchard. Here's Pritchard. Kennard covering. The kick out to T. T coming in the drive. And good. Made it a number two. Jeff T with seven points. No way he is able to stop on Jeff T, but for his last season, he was kind of injured, maybe. Another miss by the LA Clippers. 1.15 left to go. And here we go. It's Williams. Passing over to T. Robert Williams. T to Pritchard. To Moving over to Grant Williams. Five to go. Oh, he should have got that one again. Oh, and the shot clock has almost turned out to be a violation, but Jeff T misses the buzzer. Oh, and then we got a slam dunk here for Lou Williams to pick it up. Just that close to get there, Jeff T passing over to Pritchard. Moves over to Robert Williams. Williams dishes to Teague. Teague okay. stuck in the corner. Back to Teague. Over Williams. Over Williams. Teague. The shot has been contact Williams and no shot here for Jeff Teague. Boston Celtics making another miss. Here's George. George shot picking two times. Lou Williams over, over Williams. Six seconds. Count it. Only two on the board with a close call. Ujale going out with another run. No second chance points can add up. Teague for the buzz beater. And a shot won't be taking in. And no good for Teague. Another close one. Third quarter has ended. 52 to 51, as, as the Celtics only lead by one. The Clippers are picking out for another win. If they could do it again, we'll have to see if it's good enough in the fourth quarter. Let's have a quick moment for the State Farm assist of the game. Let's check out the one last time. So we are seeing that uh, Jeff Teague wasn't able to be that completely confirmed to go with her last season's record. But Jeff T for this season turns out to go quite deep. And this is where it turns out after Grant Williams is picking up for his uh, another assist and his first time score and the first time first time flight on NBA. And, with the, and being played on the court. Williams, what a nice start here in the fourth quarter. And now he's in the lead. And, and now their team is in the lead over the Boston Celtics. Ten points for Lou Williams. Brown over, over Leonard. Almost bumped out. And Ibaka holds on the ball. Beverly going about the other way. Williams again. And from down, there you go. Williams are picking up another points in the paint, just 12. Need to go for another motion here. Tears Tatum. Oh, no screen yet. Rolls up. He gets there that time. Jason Tatum, 11 points. But the latter only has 16 points, and he's still in the lead by 5 points. Williams against T. Williams. Ojale grabs, grabs the rebound points with points a miss by Rudy Williams. And Holds on, and it's good. They're in the lead right now by one. What a shot for Teague. Williams going back around again. Looking over the floor. And it's Zubox with the rebound, passing over to Kennard. Six to shoot. Has to go for a shot. Zubox with the dunk. It's been a very technical, hard on the impact by those two to give it a shot and go for the whirl at that moment. They're smart, passing over to Feist. Feist only's got two. Does he have another one? 
And he could not get it in time as Serge Ibaka has no block at all and takes his first foul on the board. Two shots coming up for Daniel Weiss. Brad Stevens, nowhere to go. Find a man on offense. See if you're open. Find a man on defense. Don't just stand there. Or with the with the defender. You gotta move around that quick. Making two easy shots for the Clippers to defend. Feist finally got a first first free throw. New changes here as Kennard and Zubox are checked out. Leonard and Batong are checked back in. T and Ujale are checked out as Thompson and Smart are checked back in for the uh, starters without Kemba Walker. Both shots, shots for Feist after the first quarter and the fourth quarter has turned out for Feist four points. Inside. Oh, quick pass. Oh my gosh. Ibaka did it again with another dunk, and you know that Kawhi Leonard did it that time. He did it really well on the board. Beverly against Smart. Beverly against Smart. Pass over to Brown. Oh, good, good rebound by Thompson, but they're going to go for a second attempt. Tatum in the paint. Shots good. Now they're going back to back again. Thompson picking up a first assist at that game. Probably not. And here we go again. Now it's ba now it's Baton with the shot. Thompson with the first personal foul. Assist by Leonard. 4-13 left. We got a rough battle between, between L.A., the Pacific, and the Celtics, and Boston in Eastern. in Eastern by the, by the coast of Atlantic. One shot left for Patam. Finally got the point. But no going with one shot. He does. After the first two points for tonight, and, and one point for a three, so Batam has got his first basket after the free throw by a two and one for the free throw. That means three points on the board. Thompson rolling over to Brown, calling for a screen. Thompson, Brown cuts in the paint and dunks again. Wow, they all love the fans by, by Tatum and Brown, of course, smart. And now we're seeing the rookies on the feet on the on the court saying, let's go wild Celtics by each player to see what they got here. They want to see them play. That's because you know uh, the the the, uh, the franchise players are getting better right now on the board and they're gonna keep it going for another shot. Thompson going around the other way. Passes over to Smart. Back to Smart. Now here's Feis with the drive. And it's Patel with another rebound. Rock, rock. The Clippers are going 5-5 five to five on the rebound. Feis making another rebound and that will be free at this point. Patrick Beverly only had two. Not just a close one. Thompson outside. Brown outside. Didn't want to take a risk of pretty ankle breaking. But he does it again. They are tied up by 64, 242 left. Second to last timeout will be the Clippers. It's coming. It's coming down to the end of the wire by the uh, by the game clock, and looks like we gotta see who will take it into the lead first. And now it's time for the player of the game presented by New Balance, and this goes out to Kawhi Leonard. Yes, this percentage for this guy for Kawhi Leonard is turning out to be just a claw after he has played an outstanding run after the last season against the Wizards. And yes, he is on the board once again 
for a Jordan player to gain, but now with new balance. Here's DA on the sideline. Listen to Teron lose huddle. This is still a close game, and he told us, guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. This guy has been a catalyst for them. We got another layup. And that turned out to be sort of Tabaka going for another run. Here Thompson took it in and we got tied again. Thompson just pulling out on the run. Wow. Celtics fans going wild. Just only 2.13 left to go. Kawhi Leonard against Tatum. Tough matchup. Kawhi for two. Rebound by Thompson. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Thompson picking on a number. Smart for a lead. Yes! Finally had it done, and Smart delivers an outside range on the outer lane. And now this is the three-point lead for the Boston Celtics. And nope, no, no up shooting foul. We got a goaltending. <laughs> there you go. You got a goaltending right now, and that is not fair for Jason Tatum to pick it up on the board. Smart pulling out the other way. Tatum going back out. This close game is turning out, turning out tough. Thompson picking out another run. Smart taking a two. Rebound by Fies. And a two, we got a battle between here and Kawhi Leonard trying to go for the lead. But it picked up another miss for the Clippers and Tatum is going out the other way. Now we got to go for a motion again. One minute to go. Brown cutting in, the lead, good! What a play here for Brown, and 16 points is on the board. Second to last for uh, for the Clippers to pick it up. Screen on the Baca, pass to Burley. It's good! And now they're turning out to be a close call by the net. Smart, unbelievable. He's doing things yet. Come on, step it up. Win or beat or beat, get defeated. Last possession for the for the Celtics to pick out. Smart with the three. Did it again! What a play this is for Smart. And last time out is are going on to the Clippers. Wow. What a play this is. I cannot believe that this was a comeback rally. Vice just kills it out here. Well, now we're going to make a one last change here. Williams is going, going back out. And right now, Jeff Teague has to finish it out and cover it up by, uh, by Marcus Smart. As Marcus Smart going around the other way. Right now, I'm stepping out Ujale. The last player on the court I will take is Nesmith. That's the only guy left. I have never got him. That I never had. That I did not get for this guy. One last change. What a play this is, Tatum. I am just ha happy enough to be here with you. Here's Leonard, covered by Ujale. Count it in. Second to last time out for the Celtics. And right now we're going to switch it over to the offense. And wow, just definitely didn't realize this was going to happen again. Anyway, I will switch it over. Let's switch it over to another offensive run. Make it into the Warriors. And yeah, I don't think uh, Smart and Smart will do it anyway. All right, well. That's what you want. But anyway, the last one never turns out that turns out that well. Only one change. 
Celtics have the last time out to go. Right now, the personal foul will be on Patrick Beverly, and the last timeout will be on the Celtics. Next foul will be on one on one. 11.7 seconds right now on the board. One more left. No timeouts between those two, and that's where it came. Coming up for the next game we have is the Spurs versus the Heat. As Spurs are, are away again, and they're playing at Miami to face on against Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat. Then a then couple, couple inches away we have is the Hornets versus the Pacers. Just going fancy and just definitely wanted to go for it again. And we got more coming on our way pretty soon. Final countdown. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. One change, try to go without a foul, and we have Baton with the second personal foul. They don't have enough to get there. Right now, Jeff Teague will be shooting one-on-one -on -one to take it over to Clippers. Better not get distracted. Jeff T gets the first free throw, last one. Bonus on the uh, bonus for the Celtics. Just turn out right. He can make shots. This guy is very good at the point. Excellent free throw. Jeff Teague has delivered out 11 points. Last possession for the Clippers, for the, for the buzz beater. No good. That's the end of the game. Celtics back home and just worked out. And they destroyed the Clippers 76 to 72. What a game this turns out. Amazing comeback rallies and pickup points. Just amazing it tells. And that's going to do it for today, folks. For for all of us here and turning out for a new year for 2020 to 21, we are we are just saying that this turned out to be the best of the best. So yeah, looks like that was it. Celtics made a huge win, not just quite another one, but this was a this was a this was a uh, extended hard game on this on this play. Not just enough to go through it, but it did, wow. I'm I'm really surprised about that one. Next next week on Thursday, we have is the uh, we have is the San San Antonio Spurs facing on against Miami Heat of Jimmy Butler. That will be the next one to go for another fiercing look over the, over by a hand to hand matchup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some uh, if you'd like to see some more videos. If you want to, are there are any suggestions? Post a comment down below. Thumbs up to like the video, and this is turning out just amazing for a 2020 year in the memory. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching for this part. Until next time, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA 2K21 dial. Good night in Boston.